Okay, hey guys, I'm back and I'm already dressed to head out to meet Olivia. But let me just show you the things that I'm wearing. So I have this one from Anna Louise. I have this one just from Ali. And then I have my Kmart um, pants and Kmart shoes. And we have this very, very lovely bag. This one I really love. So this was gifted by Teddy Blake and I really love everything about it. Let me just show you guys the bag. Oh, that's so pretty from Teddy Blake. Let me show you the bag, actually. Okay, you guys, so I just ran out of battery. Just had to quickly change that, but we are and so I thought since we have a bit of time to kill before Olivia comes and picks me up for our dinner tonight I'm just gonna quickly show you my bag and I'm gonna do a little bit of what's in my bag a little bag right don't worry you guys I'm not gonna make it very long it's gonna be short and sweet because I don't want to bore you guys but let me show you first the bag this is her She's so pretty. Look at that. I am obsessed with how she looks. This is definitely my style. I like bags that are not too big. If you see in my videos, I tend to have bags that are either medium sized, not huge, because I don't want heavy bags, or small size. Because sometimes I want to just grab and go, so I go for the small bags but I have been loving these kinds of bags these days as you can see in my previous video I love these sizes because the main reason is that when I vlog I do bring my camera with the tripod and I need a bag to fit that in so this is perfect you guys first time i was holding it i knew it was durable and it was gonna last a long time it is really good you guys i swear it's very durable oh my goodness you guys have to get one of these uh this was just gifted by teddy blake and they asked me to give you guys a genuine review of the bag so i got the kim stampato in 11 inch and in the shade light cream so it does have this sling attachment that you could remove i'm also a very lazy girl so sometimes i like to just sling it in here put it in here especially when i'm shopping and i have to just have this hanging on my shoulder while i do some you know stuff all teddy blake bags are made by designers from italy and they have both the luxurious look and the feel as well as the quality there is no compromise at all with the quality but you do save so much more because you're not paying for the cost of the brand label just like uh, what you do with other luxury brands i recommend this bag for you guys and that's it so quickly i'm gonna show you what's in my bag and then this is how it looks on the inside so you have a little pocket in here and then all my stuff it's really spacious let me show you what's in my bag first of all and most importantly i have my phone black case next we have our sunglasses and i'm very sad about this one because this is good this one's good but this isn't my favorite my favorite the black one with like a rectangle-ish frame and I lost it. So I'm not very happy about that. And then we always have this one. It's my Smart Rider card, which I'm not going to show you guys everything except for my photo. That's my ID from university when I was studying nursing. And I also have in here my Transperth card connected to it. So this is what I use when tapping when I'm traveling via public transport. Buses, trains, this is what I use. And I've had my fair share. Of forgetting this one so I do leave it at a place where it's very visible to me like on my table so I don't forget to bring it every day because sometimes I do forget this in my school bag or my work bag or in my casual day bag and I die I just miss the bus and then I have to come back home because I don't want to spend on uber so this is a must always bring that then this one we always have an extra one i don't use this one but i just have this as an extra 
just in case because I couldn't ride the public transport without this one. Um, it's very strict in here in Western Australia. And then we have sanitizer. This was from Spray. It works like this. That's so cool. I love this one and it's so cute. Next one is my little camera. I'm bringing this because I'm vlogging today. When I'm vlogging, I do bring this and the huge camera that I have. So I bring a small camera. So if you see videos that look like fish eye or um, look further, it's because of this one. It's the effect of this one. There's settings in here where you could zoom in or zoom out, fish eye lens, and you know, whatnot. So I bring that and with that, I bring the batteries for my cameras because I don't want to die while I'm filming. So I do have this one for the GoPro and then I have this one for this um, Canon camera. I'm going to link my stuff below just in case you guys want to check them out. And then I have my wallet. I don't like bringing wallets that are huge because they just take up space and they make me carry a heavy bag, which I don't like at all. I just bring this one and sometimes I just leave this at home, actually, because I do have my cards in my phone. Then I have um, just a quick solution to messy hair. I rarely use it, but I like to have it if I have space in my bag. And then this little thingy, always handy. Sometimes I bring this, sometimes I don't. Just bubble gum. Earphones. So they're wireless and I like to have it. So they just look like that. We'll just wear it like that. And then you go. You jog. Go to the gym. Do some, carry some weights. Or when I'm just in the bus. Lip product. I bring a lip balm. Anything will do. This one's Smith. This was just gifted to me by Anthropology. So it looks like that. Squeeze it like that and then you apply it that which is very cool i like the applicator this applicator i don't know why but i like it it's easy to apply on the lips so that's very cool i have this oh my gloss lip plump <laughs> gonna i'm gonna link it down below this is really good highly recommend i swear so i have this happy skin lip tint in the shade breathe and i just put it like this i'm gonna show you like this You do that. And that's it for our mini. Oh, we have one last thing. It's my Mojave Ghost. I use this a lot when I'm just out and about. So I put them in here and in here. I wish you could smell it, you guys, but highly recommend as well. And that's it for our mini bag raid. I'm just gonna probably curl my hair while waiting for Olivia. Oh. Good shot. I look like a good girl today. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Guys, hello. This is Olivia. <laughs> uh, Olivia didn't make up today. You look fine, Olivia. Oh, we haven't seen Olivia in a while, but we have yeah. lots of catching up to do. <laughs> Olivia just uh, have had finished a busy shift just so now in your airport. He is hard working, I'm not. <laughs> but I'm going um, to uh, eat some really delicious seafood. Seafood, we'll see Very what yummy. we get from Grab's restaurant. <laughs> What are we gonna get? My date for today. Yeah. The beautiful Olivia, and then we have fried squid, yeah. um, lobster pasta, and beef salad. Beef salad. We 
stand on the opposite shore. Like the, now they cook the rice, it's very tasty. And if it's me, I'm like, okay, it's fine. It's fine. I reached the mysterious <laughs> sea. My home. I look for the things I don't know. What was that about that the tiger. tiger there? The tiger poster. Yeah. Uh, the tiger means this. This is a Chinese character. This is called Wai Shi Ru Yi. Means everything is perfect. Yeah. Or really, how do you say it? Wai Shi Ru Yi. Wai Shi Ru Yi. Yeah, really accurate. And what does it mean? Everything is perfect. Everything is perfect. That everything is according to our opinion. What we want will, that is what we get. Symbol for that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. something new for you guys yeah, from our much. Chinese teacher. Hey guys, so I'm back home. It was a fun dinner with Olivia. We had a lot to catch up on. And I'm so happy for her because she got her job, which she just transferred from aged care to an assistant in nursing in the hospital so that's really exciting for her and yeah just a very chill lovely evening catching up with a friend so now i'm already very very ready for bed but i think i'm gonna do a little bit of editing because i have a few deadlines to catch up on but before i knock off and before i end the day i just wanted to read to you today's devotion i read this in the morning and it was very convicting something we can all give a little bit of thought for today i do have my devotion it's new morning mercies i'm gonna quickly read a few lines from today's devotion for y'all since by grace god forgives it makes no sense to hide, excuse, or shift the blame when you are faced with your sin. When faced with our sin, we immediately excuse ourselves or shift the blame. When our consciences bother us, we hide the wrong that we have done, like Adam and Eve hiding from God in the garden, or we try to convince ourselves that what we did was not so bad after all. Now, because God's world is so big, there will always be places to hide, and because you live in a world that doesn't operate as God intended, there will always be people and things to blame. But it is all one big, sad, irrational lie. Why would you and I work so hard to hide or deny what has been fully, completely, and eternally forgiven? Why would we work so hard to pretend that we are something less than sinners when the message of the gospel is that Jesus loves and accepts sinners? Why would we hide in guilt when Jesus has fully borne our guilt? Why would we allow ourselves to be motivated by shame when Jesus willingly carried our shame? Why would we construct a false facade of righteousness when Jesus has given his righteousness over to our account? Why would we care what others will think of us if we are honest about our sin? When the one who holds our destiny in his hands has accepted us as if we had never sinned. And that's it. We are not perfect. And we don't have to hide our imperfection because um, God knows we're not perfect. We are all born with a sinful nature in our hearts. And God knows that. And so he sent his son Jesus to save all of us, to die on the cross for all of us so that we are able to be forgiven. And that has been done. So you don't have to be ashamed. All you have to do is accept that you're imperfect, we are sinful, and we make mistakes. That's everything for today. Oh, don't worry, this vlog's not ending yet. I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you. Good night. Sweet dreams, don't forget to pray. Good morning, guys. It is the next day, and I am gonna soon be getting ready to meet Cass, another small YouTuber. I was just um, reading a little bit of my daily devotion, 
and this book called Atomic Habits. I don't know if you guys have read it, but I've heard so many good things about this book. So I decided to have a read of it. So I've just started it now and it has been a bit gruesome in the beginning when the author tells us kind of his story. Okay, time to get ready, I guess. I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna go to the shopping center after brunch because I kind of wanna pick up some makeup stuff. Okay, guys, I'm ready to leave. I just have a few more minutes to spare, so I'm probably just gonna scroll through social media. But here's... Our look for today. It's a regular tea. This one is from Ali. There's like a little something happening over here. And it's just a little crop top. So it's really cute. Pants. This one's from Zara. But um, I got this from the thrift shop. Because I'm a thrift shop girl. So this is our look for today. I'm still going to be using my new favorite bag. Here it is. I know. Follow Cass. Okay, Cass, yes. let them know what I'm vlogging your YouTube. content is. What is my content? Yes. Mainly lifestyle. Um, you know, trying to be a full time YouTuber, just like that. Very you interesting. Know? Yes. Mostly fashion and TikTok. I fashion will link TikTok. everything down below. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yay. I'll link Yay. everything below as well. Yeah, we're going to chat, so okay. bye. Bye. <laughs> you have no make like you're interesting. Like, I'm seeing you bring a thing. But also, I'm also So good meeting Cass. She's the sweetest. She's validating all my adulting struggles. And that would mean so much to me, you guys. If you could support my friend, please click on the link uh, down in the description box. I'm gonna link her Instagram handle, her TikTok, and her YouTube channel. And you'll see more of Cass in my videos, hopefully, because we'll be hanging out as struggling um small youtubers <laughs> for the rest of the day i will probably just edit that's the plan i'm just gonna say goodbye here thank you so much guys for watching i love you all you're my besties and thanks for hanging out with me bye